Christina, what are the terms of this deal? And it's so interesting that they've come uh, to put this bid in. Yeah, this is really fascinating on a number of levels. Yeah. This is the largest takeover of a U.S. company by a Chinese uh, actor. Acquirer, right. and we're going to see a lot more of this because the Chinese are flush with capital, and they're looking to make acquisitions, especially in natural resources. Now we're seeing it in food, obviously. This is a 7.1 billion dollar deal. It is subject to shareholder approval mm -hmm. and also regulatory approval. So we have to see how those two elements play out. Remember, there is an activist in the SOC. Okay, and 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 are there chances that this that the shareholder and the activist investor could perhaps say no to this deal? Well, look, I mean, the activists we know has been agitating. This is Continental Grain Corp. They've been agitating for a couple of months now. Um, the fact that the shares of Smithfields have underperformed their competitors, like Hormel, for example, that's given the activists a lot of wind at their back to say, "Look, management, you have to do something." So, from their standpoint, you know, the rep we're still reporting this out as the as the situation develops. But this could be high enough of a premium. That the shareholders sign off on this deal. The other element, of course, is regulatory approval. Will the Committee on Foreign Investments sign off on this? You know, there have been concerns about uh, food contamination uh, coming sure. out of China, and you know whether or not that's a national security concern. Yeah, not sure about that. I'm not sure about that, but oh, we, ag knows? again, we have to report this out. You know, w it took. Everyone by surprise this morning. So it's a developing story, and it's going to be interesting in light of the fact that Chinese consumption of meat keeps going up. And we had the president of Shuang Wei come out and say, you know, right now prices for pork are pretty stable, but that's going to change over the next couple of years as Chinese consumers get more accustomed to the westernized diet and yes. eventually eat a lot more meat. Well, maybe because this is just pork, this is about meat, you know, that, that, that perhaps that's why this Chinese company decided, you know, I'm going to take my chances and I'll put in this bid yeah. uh, for Smithfield. But uh, the fact that they put this bid in, uh, does that mean that Smithfield couldn't find any other partners or any acquirers in the U.S.? Well, look, I mean, this is very convenient to management because management gets to keep its job, which is important from a management standpoint. Um, whether or not other bidders emerge, we have to see. There is a reverse breakup fee. So in this case, it would encourage another bidder to come forth. Again, it's pretty early days. We're going to have to see how it plays out.